Welcome calculator fanciers to another number file calculator unboxing. I'm Matt Parker and today I'm going to be looking at this. This is a real classic of the genre. This is the Casio FX series. This is an FX 85 GT plus and it's not only on the packet it is written right across the top of the calculator. I mean but I'm getting ahead of myself. We're not inside the packet yet. Let's just have a look at what's promised on the back. There's a full breakdown of the calculator, it tells you where all the buttons are, predominantly as you can see on the front of the calculator, and then it mentions several of the functions, uh, most of which you don't actually get in the calculator. So this is basically saying that there are other calculators which are better than this one. It's a a unusual thing to say on a product that you're not buying the best one. But if you look at the top here, this is not the UK's number one scientific calculator. It's the UK's number one scientific calculator brand, not this specific one. But that means it can do a lot. You can see down here, it's got 260 functions. That is a big number of functions. It can do prime factorizations. It's got reoccurring decimals, very exciting. And it can verify uh, your expression. So if you look particularly excited or very surprised at a calculation, it can verify that expression. And you can see here, it comes with a three-year guarantee. It's guaranteed that the fundamental laws of mathematics will not change within the first three years of purchasing this calculator. After that, all bets are off. One may become a prime number. Dividing by zero may be allowed. We just don't know. Okay, so let's uh, pop this open and see what actually happens. So again, we'll get our handy scalpel. As you can see, I'm making one incision on the top corner, very, very carefully slicing towards myself. That's so I keep a good view of the blade. We'll now cut down the long, oops, the long side like that. Uh, being careful to not cut through any of the instruction or other materials inside. And then we'll come around this last corner. And one final dangerous cut. Uh, we are through most of the packet and none of my fingers. All right, this now hinges open. There we go. Okay, there's the calculator. Uh, oh, the instructions are protected here. In case you get so excited opening it, there's a risk of fluids uh, being splashed on the instructions. They come in a little packet there. And if we pop, oh wow, there's a proper stapled booklet here. How to initialize the calculator. So there's a lot of text there for how to press the on button. Handling precautions, because if you don't have a firm grip, it might slip out on a fast uh, calculation corner. How to read the display if you've not yet learned to read. In fact, I mean, if you can't read, possibly buying a calculator is getting a bit ahead of yourself. I recommend learning to read before learning how to use a calculator. I mean, there's a lot here, and I, I could spend the entire video reading this, which, believe me, is tempting, but we will leave that uh, for later on. And then uh, these are all the bits that they forgot to put in the booklet when they first wrote it, and so they had to put them on an extra piece of paper, and then they forgot to put some bits into this piece of paper, which is why there's another piece of paper. In fact, there are several. I mean, frankly, whoever's in charge of coming up with the instructions uh, should be fired. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of all that and have a look at the calculator itself. Oh, look at this. Okay, so it comes with a taped on back. If only I had a sharp implement to remove that. Okay, so we'll cut through the... That's that there, we'll cut through the tape there, and this should now slide off, very nice. And then this little bit of uh, plastic here. Okay, I have no idea what that, if, any, if anyone has any idea what this is for, please do let me know. I, I can only assume it's something vitally important, so I'm gonna very, very carefully fold it up and put it back in the packet for when I later realize what I meant to use that for. Okay, the actual calculator, here we go. There's a variety of powers. In fact, there's two ways to power it. Uh, if you look very, very closely at the panel, you can see that there are four different panels there. So that is the first uh, inaccurate mistake on the calculator. If we uh, switch it on, oh, look at that. The whole display leaps in. It starts off in degrees. Again, a bit of a risk there. And we can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, the digit, they're just they're scrolling off the other side. This, this can fit a lot of digits, and we're only using the top row. I mean, there's a lot of potential here. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that now mobile phones have shown you how good screens can be, you'd be impressed. I mean, if this was the mid-90s, that would be a fantastic screen on an electronic device. Let's see how the accuracy goes. So uh, one way to test the accuracy is we'll try one divided by nine, which should give us a ninth. Oh, it's actually just written a ninth. And uh, if we try multiplying that by nine, it should of course give us one back. That's very good. It's also very good for converting thirds. So let's say you want to know the square root of 17. 
you simply type square root of 17, you hit equals, and it tells you that it's the square root of 17. Very insightful there, Casio. The square root of 17 is exactly equal to the square root of 17. Marvelous. Now, uh, through all of this, you might be wondering, look, this is a good calculator, but it's a bit neutral. How can I express my feminine side? Casio has got you covered with the pink. Look at that. The pink Casio, exactly the same. FX 85 GT, only this time it's the plus pink. This one here was just the plus. This is plus nothing. This one here is plus pink. If we crack that one open, and if I'm not careful, it's gonna be plus blood. Keep going right on the side. Okay, once we are in here, Okay, we can see that it is identical. There's all the same instructions. The front of it is the same. It's got that same very important bit of plastic. If I cut through the identical pieces of tape there, we now have uh, uh, the same, exactly the same calculator that does all exactly the same things, except it is surrounded by a pink face. At, at last, a, a calculator that caters to people who like the color pink. But I what some of you are thinking, wait a minute, this, this, this is a little bit sexist. How on earth could you have a pink calculator and, and no other colors? Well, that's fine. Anyone who thinks that's too sexist, they do, of course, have a blue calculator. There you are, this is, this is the entire uh, Casio range. If you are male, female, or non-identifying, then uh, you have, uh, or, or you wish to be uh, neutral, if you think that gender doesn't come into mathematics, then of course you can use the classic there. Uh, they are all otherwise absolutely identical. They all fit in the hand the same way. Final scores for the Casio FX83GT Plus in both the neutral blue and pink models. Overall, I give the displays 9.5. They are very good. Functionality 8, accuracy 10. You cannot fault the precision. Ergonomics are 9, fits nicely in the hand. Cred nine, although it does depend heavily what model and what gender you're pairing up. And finally, for durability, For durability, we've run it over and it's still got, I mean, obviously the gendered ones haven't fared so well, but the every person calculator, still, still ticking along. Score? I have to give that a 10. That brings us to a grand total of 55.5, which is an amazing average score of 9.25. I, I feel like, I mean, the main feature of this is the fact that you can attach it to your wrist. You can, you can strap it on, and that is very important. Very few calculators can do that. In fact, I've got another, for comparison, Casio calculator here, and if you try and balance that on your, it's incredibly difficult to do calculations on your wrist.